everyone, Viking Alan here, coming to you from Norway! That's the home of my forebears. Uh, not forebears, I don't mean. Uh, I mean my ancestors. Though there are bears living here. Well, not here, over there somewhere. Anyway, I'm going off on a tangent, but I thought I've been here a couple of weeks with Spirit Duck and everybody else, so I thought it were about time that I updated you with one of my vlogs. Uh, first of all, I'd like to say a big thank you to a lady called Bev Swainston. A few people might have heard how she wouldn't take me to Max's Pencils and buy any of those mini foods. So, um, Bev, proving that not all humans are selfish, uh, took pity on me and sent me a supply of these lovely oranges. So, at least I'm getting me vitamin C. Now there's somebody else that I need to say a massive thank you to and that's Lagata, uh, the Viking Shield Maiden of Harrogate and her human, Jane Vanessa. Now, uh, Lagata, or Scary Lagata as I call her, uh, got off on a bit of a wrong foot to start with. I'll be honest, I were a bit worried that she had designs on my lower portions. Anyway, her and her human, Jane Vanessa, uh, have sent me uh, a parcel by way of an apology. For all those sleepless nights where I was tossing and turning and worrying that she was going to turn up on my doorstep. Anyway, it arrived before we left England, so I brought it with me. And I was absolutely amazed when I opened it. My parcel were wrapped up really nicely uh, with tissue paper. And then around it, it had this medallion tied up that's like a silver heart with a, with a nice uh, lock. So to start with... I took that off and I put it around my neck because it looked really good as a medallion. But then I had a kind of a brainwave and I thought, I'm going to turn this into a chastity belt. So now I wear it over the top of my shorts and not only does it look really good, but it's also practical. Just in case anyone gets any, you know, ideas. You know, I could not believe it when I got inside that parcel and had a look. It's a proper hoof-made Viking hanging with a proper Viking bow on it, like what Odin would have had in Valhalla. Just look at the beautiful details. There's beads that are hoof sewn all over the surface. I was so amazed that for several seconds I couldn't speak. Now I've, I've taken it out into the woods and we've got it up on a flagpole by the sweat lodge. Anyway, we're out at the sweat lodge every day, communing with nature, and I reckon the new hanging is really helping with the uh, spiritual journey. We've been finding lots of mushrooms out in forest, and loads of them have turned out to be right magical. Fangus uh, likes to test them all first. He says it's for quality control. <coughs> Oh, Viking Island. This, this one tastes alright, I think. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I should try another one just to make sure. Uh, we did have a bit of a fright when Fangus disappeared, and we couldn't find him until the next afternoon. I were a bit worried that he might have been lost on the astral plane, but as it turned out, he'd been out all night howling at the moon. <laughs> dogs will be dogs, I suppose. I'm so relieved he's back. I'm, I'm off to uh, uh, check on the uh, sweat lodge. I shall love you and leave you, but um, I think I'll leave you with a little bit of footage from the camp. Uh, I'm right enjoying it while I've got chance. I mean, I'm sure that she'll soon have me back sharpening blooming pencils with my chainsaw. So, uh, anyway, bye for now. <laughs>